Hi guys, well, we're just gonna pretend we're chit-chatting in my car, like my car vlogs, but as I mentioned in a previous video, my phone's kind of been acting up about memory, so I've not been able to do the vlogs in the car like usual. Um, so anyway, I just have several things to chit-chat about today, and when I did my previous product updates, I realized I forgot a few things I wanted to talk about, and I'm hoping I remembered them here. <laughs> I'll watch this back in editing and sure enough, I'll be like, oh, I forgot to talk about that. If you know of something that I'm forgetting to talk about, leave me a comment below and I'll try to answer you directly or, you know, mention it. Um, so first of all, in my Sephora haul, I put that I bought a couple of texturizing sprays. The Bumble and Bumble one I actually have in my toiletry bag because I took that with uh, me to Charleston last weekend. I like it pretty good, but I actually think I like this one better. This is the Triple Sec um, from Dry Bar. And if some of you remember, I said I brought the dry shampoo from Dry Bar and I hated the scent so much that I threw it in the trash. I used it like one time. I was like, nope, that's going to the trash. It was this size, thankfully. Well, I actually really like this, um, but I think it might have the same scent or similar. Let's just say it doesn't drive me crazy like the dry shampoo. I mean, I could totally be nuts and it could be the exact same scent. Um, when I first spray it, like I sprayed it today when I um, curled my hair, which is already falling out, my hair will not hold curl anymore for the life of me. That's why you don't see it curled. I can curl it and it looks fine. I'll spray hairspray, texturizing, anything. I put product in it before. It will not hold anymore. I don't know what is going on. Um, and it's definitely, I have to keep turning the curling iron down because if it's too hot, that actually just like straightens my hair. It won't even curl at all. So I don't know what's going on. That's why I don't spend the time to curl it anymore. So anyway, I did use this today. It gave me a little bit of headache, I have to say, as soon as I sprayed it. Although we're supposed to get rain and my sinuses are kind of acting up, I noticed today. So that could just be a fluke. Um, anyway, I don't mind the scent of this one. I didn't turn the camera setting, um, the lighting on my camera up. Usually I do it like one more. Um, so I feel like it looks a little dark, but sometimes when I have that setting up, it looks almost sometimes too bright. So anyway, we'll just go with it since I'm not really showing anything in particular. So the NYX Brow Pencil, this is actually called the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I got it in the color taupe. I like the color of this. However, to me, and this may just be mine, I don't know. Those of you who have this, let me know if that's the case. Same thing as Anastasia. It's like a really small pencil, has the spoolie at the end, which I love. Um, great spoolie. It's hard. It's a much harder formula than the Anastasia. The color's great though. I like it, but I just find my skin getting red when I'm trying to use it. Like I can basically make a line and like minor filling in, but I cannot fill in all over with this or my eyebrow is red um, and it looks terrible because like I said, the, it's just a little too hard. It's not creamy like the Anastasia. Um, today, by the way, if you're wondering, I have the taupe dip brow by Anastasia. So anyway, I wouldn't repurchase this again, but again, I like the color, just the formula. I don't think that's great. Okay, that was driving me crazy. I had to change the setting. I know it makes like everything else really white, but I just feel like there's so much of a shadow here, which it's actually probably more true to color. Um, but anyway, I changed it. So if it looks funny throughout the video, but this is just one of those kind of chit chatty videos. We're just going with it. Okay. The Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, I had mentioned that, I got this in the Sephora sale by the way. I mentioned that I had the original um, and returned it right away. Just did not love it. A lot of the colors were way too warm. Most of you know, I absolutely love the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. I mean, I have the original. I purchased the repackaged one. This, I cannot get into. I am wearing some of the shades today. Um, but I just, I don't know. I think it's beautiful when I look at it, but let me tell you what it's missing for me. And this shade, the pink sugar, does not do it for me because that is way too glittery. It needs that light pink um, or a cream color shade in it that's not matte. It doesn't need to be overly sparkly. And like this is, is too warm of a pink. Like, I love the colors, even though when you look at it, there are a lot of warm colors, really. There's only a couple of neutrals. 
Um, and I like a mix of both. I'm not, you know, one way or the other. I actually like to mix them on my eyes. That's usually what looks best on me. I just, I don't know. I'm having a hard time making looks with this that do not look really red and orange on me. A lot of colors uh, look that way on my eyes for some reason. So anyway, kind of having second thoughts about this so far. So while I was in Charleston, speaking of that last weekend, I went in a really nice Walgreens and they had Milani products there. Now the display was fairly empty. So I don't know if it's one of those, it was picked over. It almost looked like though they're just starting to carry Milani. Uh, most of the time you see Milani and CVS, not Walgreens, but they had one each of these um, blushes. The ro This is Romantic Rose you know, the ones that look like a rose. And this is the only one I thought looked pretty, but isn't that gorgeous? I've seen so many people use it and I really like it. So was happy to get this. I think that's it for some of the product updates. So speaking of Charleston, um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you all know uh, that's where we went last weekend. It was kind of a you know, just get out of town for the weekend. Some place we've been talking about visiting for a while, but also we kind of wanted to scout out the area for possible like relocation. It was actually on our list, um, might have been number two or three on our list before we moved here when we moved from Florida, which is actually coming up in July will be five years ago. I mean, where has the time gone? I cannot believe we've lived here five years. So anyway, um, there's a lot of kind of circumstance surrounding that that I won't, you know, really get into because y'all know I'm terrible about sharing personal information. But we've just really been talking about going somewhere else. For some reason, the last year, I wouldn't even say year, I would say since this last winter, I have really been craving living back on the coast again. Um, as many of you know, I came from the east coast of Florida, like the Cocoa Beach area. Um, we don't, we know we wouldn't want to go back to that area. There's just not a lot of employment for my husband, what he does. I mean, that's why we left Florida in general to begin with is for better opportunities, you know, for him. Um, and that kind of dictates where we would go as well. So we've kind of narrowed it down about possibly going back to Florida, but it would probably be on the West Coast of Florida. I don't know why though. We just have this draw to Charleston for some reason. I mean, even before we'd been there, neither one of us had ever even been there. And it was like, you know, I don't know. It just seemed like the place. I think, let me back up. So I think a lot of it is it's still in the South. Um, it's a lot farther South than here, even though it's North of Florida. So you still get some pretty decent weather. You know, I'm not expecting to see snow there, you know, every winter like we've had since we moved here, which I wasn't expecting here either. Um, but once you live in the South and everybody is so nice, at least where we live, I mean, we couldn't ask for nicer area to live in. It truly is a great area. Um, you know, it's hard not having that. And that's something I always talked about Florida. Florida is such a mix of people that live there that I don't know. It's just, you notice it once. If you ever, you don't notice it so much maybe when you live there, but if you ever move away and come back, you notice it that it's just different. You know, I think you either ignore it or just get used to it when you live there. But every time we go back now, it's like, you know, people just are not that nice there. Now, of course, that's like a generalization. I'm not saying everybody's not nice, but you get what I mean. So, you know, Charleston just kind of seemed like the best of everything. Like it'd still be in the South. I mean, you know, it's like the number one travel destination. People that live there love it. Matter of fact, if any of you live there, let me know how you like it, what areas you recommend. I actually got in touch with um, a blogger I know that lives there. She um, helped me out with some information. And then I've gotten in touch with a friend of mine on here about areas in Florida. So that has been totally consuming my thoughts. Um, it's been very hard for several weeks now um, because all my other videos have kind of been pre-recorded. I like recorded a whole bunch in one day and you know there for a couple weeks like I was just on a kick like a recording a whole bunch like in one or two days so I had them spread out. But this last week or so, um, actually for several weeks, my mind has just been so consumed with the thought of possibly moving. I mean we're not at that stage yet. We're just scoping things out, um, scoping 
areas out, possible jobs, you know, because that's really important for my husband. It, it needs to kind of be specific to what, you know, he does, his qualifications, all that kind of thing. But I've just really been craving, um, you know, living back on the coast. And it would be nice to be closer to family. That's why we, you know, it would be easy just to move back to Florida. Um, we just don't know if we'd be happy there because like I said, we moved from Florida for a reason. Um, and just job opportunities and stuff, I don't know, would be there. But, you know, as your parents get older and stuff too, you always kind of, you know, it would be nicer to be closer in case, you know, they need you or something. We do have other family in Florida. So, you know, we were talking, we've talked all this out between ourselves, but sometimes I think maybe it'd just be easier if I talk it out again to you all. Um, we have other family in Florida too, because so that would just seem like the instant um, no-brainer, the easy thing to do. I mean, like I said, that's why we moved here because the jobs were really good, the pay was really good, you know, got, you know, great ratings as far as um, lifestyle and things like that. And, you know, it has been nice. There are things we totally love about living here. Um, but I have to tell you, I was not banking on the weather. The weather totally surprised me. And it's not something I've really enjoyed. Um, you know, thankfully, the last couple of years, we've not had any severe storms. But I'm telling you, I was not bargaining for moving to Tornado Alley, basically, which is what the South has turned into, you know. I mean, I thought if I wanted all that, I'd move to Kansas or Oklahoma or North Texas or something. I mean, that is not what I'm used to. I grew up in the Midwest and of course in Florida, you know, you have tornadoes now and then, but they're small tornadoes, like flip a car, tear some shingles off your roof, not, you know, devastate your house, tear it off the slab, you don't know where it's at. And until you've seen that in person, like we saw here that first year we lived here, you can't imagine what it's like. I mean, of seeing neighborhoods and stuff like totally gone. Like just gone. They're wiped out. I mean, it's insane. Nobody should ever have to see that or live, you know, in an area like that. It's so scary. So, and anyway, I mean, we've had snow then too. So it's like, what is with this? I thought I was moving to somewhere like mild weather. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do enjoy kind of having the four seasons again because you really don't have that in Florida. I mean, it doesn't get fall until like Halloween. Um, so I have enjoyed that, but I could do without the snow. I mean, it's pretty, and y'all know I take pictures and show you because it's just a rare thing here. Well, it used to be rare. It's not rare anymore. It seems to be normal. I honestly feel like I'm living back in Indiana. That's what the last couple winters have felt like. You know, I like to see it snow, and then it can go as soon as it comes. You know, I'm over it. Um, but, you know, like spring, when you live in the south, and those of you, you know, if you're like Tennessee, you know, Alabama, Georgia, you know, Mississippi, you know what I'm talking about. It puts you on edge a little bit when springtime comes. It's like you don't like spring necessarily because the potential bad weather comes with it. So that's just not something I've loved and I would, you know, just not want to have to worry about that. Like people say, oh, well, in the Carolinas or Florida, you have hurricanes. Believe you me, I would take a hurricane any day over a tornado because a hurricane, you have warning. We've evacuated from plenty of hurricanes. And sure, your house may be gone or totally flooded, you know, or anything we get back, but it's not the same as fearing for your life inside the house. Now, if you're one of those crazy people that ride out a big hurricane, well, God help you, you know, that you're all right. But I would never do that. We leave, you know, we don't even put ourselves in harm's way for like a big hurricane. Um, cause that's just silly. And plus that when you spend days in the house with no power from a hurricane and it's hot and there's nothing to do. Oh my God, just give me a hotel room any day somewhere else. I'll, you know, I'll just take that. Believe me, it is, um, it's stressful, but the stress level and the anxiety level isn't anything like a tornado. So now that I've rambled about that, I just wanted to let you guys know kind of where my head's at. Like I feel that pressure again, like, you know, I don't want to not be making regular videos, but I just feel like my mind is so consumed with the possibility and getting things ready and what to do. Like for several weeks now, I've been going around the house. I mean, you all know I purged my makeup collection, but that's kind of been a yearly thing for me now the last couple of years. 
I mean, I just go in every room and when you're thinking about selling your house, you have to look at it totally different. You know, you have to step back and, you know, we've sold two homes, a condo and our home in Florida now. So I feel like, you know, I know what I'm doing with this a little, but, you know, I just go in every room and I take notes of things that I want to change or maybe needs fixed. You know, things that you, when you live in a house, you're like, oh, you know, you just keep ignoring maybe. But then, you know, if you're thinking about showing it, so, um, for several weeks, we've been doing that. Um, just all those kind of things. That's what's on my mind. Um, I feel like I've had a hard time concentrating for months anyway. And it was so funny when I went to my endocrinologist a couple weeks ago, he asked me that because I said, you know, I'm starting to have symptoms again. Like I've gained a little bit of weight. I don't know if y'all can tell in pictures, but you no, know, I'm not sleeping as well. Um, you know, all the things that he always asks, you know, when I'm in there that up until March had been fine, but like the beginning of March since where I'm just not feeling good because of my thyroid acting up. Um, most of the time it's been fine though, but it is acting up a little again with symptoms. And then with this, um, it kind of, you know, just, I don't know. It's like I can't get in the right headspace. Like, I have plenty of videos I can talk about, and I write notes of videos I want to do, but it's like, if you're not in the right frame of mind, you can't talk about them. I mean, I could have a hundred videos that I need to film, but it's like, you know, for those of you that make videos, you know what I mean. It's like, you have to be in that right frame of mind, or it totally shows on camera. You can't just get on camera and you know, my emotions show. I'm one of those people that, you know, I can't fool anybody if I'm having a bad day or something. So that's why just getting on camera like this or when I'm in my car is easy just to talk, you know, talk things out. You know, and my husband and I talked and just, you know, with his job and different things, um, I don't know, we just almost feel like we're ready for something else, you know? Um, and like I said, being closer to family would be better. Because my mom and dad don't have anybody else in Florida. I mean, they have a great group of friends, which gives me peace of mind that they could call like family if anything was going on. Um, my husband's parents, I mean, they're around all family pretty much. All their family lives in that area. So that gives us more peace of mind. We don't have to worry about them as much. You know, when people are like right next door, right down the street. I think for us, we feel like ever since we've moved, we're not as active or we're not doing as much. And I know a lot of that probably has to do with not having friends or family here. And a lot of it's our age too. I just think when you're our age, it's really hard to like make friends. It's like you have work, you know, coworkers that you talk to and once in a while we'll get together like in a big group or if there's an occasion. But I don't know, you don't have that like we don't have like a group of friends that we hang out with, you know, so we're not as active. We don't do as much. And I think a lot of that too also has to do with just, you know, when we lived on the coast at one point, you know, we had a boat. My husband's already talking about buying another boat. Um, you know, he likes to go fishing and just, you know, things around the water, you know, I mean, I could just sit and look at the water, you know, but it's so funny that, we were so ready for something else when we moved from Florida because we had lived there so long that now that we've lived here, it's like, okay, we really like it here. And honestly, if this was a little, if this was closer to the coast and closer to family, this would be perfect. It's just missing a few things. Oh my God, and allergies. I didn't say that. If y'all live in this area, you know, allergies here are some of the worst in the entire country. And I'm not joking. Like you can look it up. It's a fact. It just makes you feel so tired and so like, you know, your eyes are always red. You're having to cover it up. I mean, it was so funny because when we went to Charleston that whole weekend, I barely had to cover up any of my allergy darkness because it just wasn't there. We weren't even hardly back in the state and all of a sudden my eyes started itching, you know, and I was like, are you kidding me? Like it seriously was something about this area. I mean, our allergies have been crazy. So what I was saying, you know, we were so ready to move here, which I can tell my eyes are real watering right now. Sorry. Um, we were ready for a move here. Well, now, you know, that we've been here five years, which like I said, I can't believe it's five years and we love our house, you know, and everything. I think we're just ready to move on and do something different. And not that I want to keep moving every five years, but that's why I think, honestly, with us, if we just had that one place, like, okay, this is it, this is perfect, this is where we're going, I think it would be easier and less stressful on us, but because we haven't quite figured out what's the right place, um, it's a little nerve-wracking. 
And you have to go where the work is, obviously. So we haven't made a decision, but that's kind of go what's going on with me and my thoughts. Just to let you know if, you know, like this, it's only, you know, one video this week instead of two or three normally. That's just kind of it because I just cannot get in that frame of mind. It's not that, you know, I don't want to make videos or I don't have something to talk about. And, you know, I've done this before. It seems like it happens ever so many months with me that I just get that way. And a lot of it, like I said, it is, you know, the thyroid symptoms creeping in and I'll have like a bad week or something. But this is kind of not only like stress and constant thought about, you know, the possibility of like picking up and moving again, which if any of you ever have done, you know, it's stressful. Um, I think it's just kind of the unknown right now. Like if we were ready to go, then I would just be in that mode, pack up, let's go. This is where we're going. But it's, we're in that transition still right now of kind of the unknown. So that's what makes it a little stressful. Okay, I think I've talked way too long, <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed the updates and enjoyed this little chit chat. Some days I really feel like I want to do this like on a weekly basis. Um, that's why I always love doing it in the car because on my way to Target or something, I just, you know, put the phone up there, turn it on, I can just talk about whatever. I just got to figure out the phone thing. I mean, I've deleted most of my pictures, I've deleted texts. I don't know what's going on with it. I could try using my, um, you know, vlogging camera that I do for like what's for dinner and stuff like that. Which by the way, what's for dinner has been really boring lately. So I have not even bored you all with what we're eating. It's one of those, we might know two nights what we're having and then it's been up in the air. So, um, oh, and I am planning on doing a blog post on our trip to Charleston, like just showing some pictures and where we went, where we ate, um, things like that. So I'll be sure to let you know when that's up. So as usual with my vlogs or car chats, chit chats, they're all over the place just as my mind starts going. But I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and I will talk to you next time.